Welcome back to Taco About It Tuesday. That music really gets you, right? It's just so deep and heartfelt. Well, thank you again for joining us. As always, at SporterX, we go live every Tuesday at noon for Taco About It Tuesday so that we can taco about it. We are really full force into our new format and our special guest today I'm really excited about. So stick around. To open up, we have our promo running still, Rexy 50, R-E-X-Y-5-0. And that is for good reason. It's because we are full force into the Rexies. That is coming up. It is literally two days from now. It is not tomorrow, but it is the next day, Thursday. Please tune in. It is going to be a really fun time, and we cannot wait to share it this year with the whole world. As opposed to it being a private event, it is going to be a worldwide event, and it will be awesome if you tuned in, and I think you'd have fun. So do that. So that promo is still running, but if you've been following along with our new format, you know that there is a better promo coming, and so stick around for that. SportRx family update. Everything is great. Everything is fine. Keep your fantasy football team tight because that's still going. Hopefully you are doing well. But, I mean, realistically, you can't all be doing well, but hopefully you do better if you're not doing well. There you go. Announcements. Like I said, Rexy's is in full force. We have nominee, nominees, nominations that we're still putting out there. Uh, check us out on Instagram. Check us out on Facebook. There are going to be some Rexy's awards this year that we will not be showcasing in the main event. And you can find those in our Instagram, in our Facebook. And so definitely check those out and let us know if your favorite frame is going to be a winner or if you think it's going to be a winner. Again, tune in 10-8. That is this Thursday to the Rexy's Sport RX Awards. We would love to see you there. It's going to be a good time. And now for our special guest, Today, we have Tony De Silva. He is from Outsider Mountain Bike Channel. He is definitely someone you should be following if you have any interest at all in mountain biking or any interest at all in just a really fun to tune into channel. He has really good editing skills. He has really good raw takes. You should not be missing him if you are into mountain biking because... It's a good time for sure following him. Why don't we have him join us? Where you at, Tony? Right here. You got me. How Thanks you doing, pal? Words. Good, man. Oh, good, Tyler. of course. And uh, if you recognize this man's face from the 90s at all, I think it was the 90s, if you were like me and into skateboarding, this man was a professional skateboarder as well. How did mm. you get into biking, dude? Oh man, uh, so it's a it was a slow transition from skateboarding, and I want to say skateboarding has been like my life since I was a kid. We just talked about how yeah. I used to skate too, so it's embedded in me. Right. I'll always be a skater, but I got into my thirties, and uh, my body said no to the things my brain wanted to do. Right, so <laughs> I, I, I got into like uh, riding my bike more and not jumping downstairs, and my you know getting hurt for a week. But you know when you're younger, you jump downstairs, the ankles they just come back to life. No big deal. Crazy. Yeah, it just hurt a little bit more. So I started to move yeah. over my uh, my ascended seeking, my adrenaline seeking into mountain biking. And uh, there's something about when I got older, like appreciating the outdoors and being in these places that I grew, I grew up in a city, right? So skateboarding, you're skating the streets all the time. Mountain biking, I'm in these like vast mountains and forests. And I'm like, this is like a new planet. So I just fell in love with it. And uh, as my progression went on, I started to get that same vibe and feeling from skating where it's just kind of like, Ooh, like that tense adrenaline where you're trying new gaps or jumps and things like that. So I was able to pull that over from skating. And then that little boiling pot of soup right there is what uh, I fell in love with. <laughs> boiling pot of soup. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes, I can totally vibe with that. Uh, well, it just a thought came to mind while you're talking about how that's been your life and it was ingrained in you. Do you still look around the city, which, by the way, the mountainscape is a lot more picturesque for mm -hmm. sure. Do you still, when you're driving around, look at spots and be like, that's a good gap. I want to hit that oh, gap. Yeah. I'm about to <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, you're asking that because I know you do too, right? Like you're going to look at a, stair a staircase. Like it's, if the staircase yeah. is like, is that the gritty sandpaper cement or is that marble? It's real smooth, <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> Oh, we can wax that's that. Right. That's a good kind, you know? Even Absolutely. yellow curbs at Ralph's or red curbs, they're like. Oh, heck yeah. 
yeah, yeah get a little it. bit frustrated when you see the when you see the the deterrence the grinding oh, yeah. deterrence the anyway stopper. let's get into let's get into mountain biking uh because that's where we're at now and uh your videos i really appreciate as you can see here they're really they're fun they're exciting they're engaging they're raw your uh, your pov style is definitely just it's very engaging and i appreciate it and again it's even if you're not super into mountain biking and i have not yet gone down the hill and all these videos make me really want to hopefully one day i'll get to join you but i get a little bit nervous i get a little bit excited it's it's wild i don't know what it is yeah i uh i try to keep it as real as i can like i do edit but i want to be able to engage with people while i'm on the bike so sometimes okay. it gets a little it gets a little bit like if i'm in a scary section and i'm trying to talk through it i have to keep my focus in both places so i want to be able to engage and keep it going at the same time but yeah the setting up of the camera uh, after a while it's very simplified and uh, i just kind of found out you know, when you get when you get into something, you kind of find yourself within the the, the activity you're getting to know, right? So I started to find out like where my comfort zone was with riding and and the equipment I use, and then um, just could tune out once that set up. It just tuned out, and then that's when the channel kind of became on its own when I could just not worry about this other stuff and just get into Absolutely. it. But yeah, a lot of people like like you just that's said great. like um, you've never ridden before. A lot of people uh, comment that they start riding mountain biking from watching these videos and stuff because it's just so fun to watch and they didn't really know a lot about mountain biking or, or what was out there and once they find out what's in their backyard it's like a playground just waiting for them you know that's right it's incredible especially here in california uh but speaking of which speaking of getting into mountain biking you did a video with the henry golding <laughs> that name doesn't ring a bell which i bet it will uh, most notably from Crazy Rich Asians. This man reached out to you because he was familiar with your content, which by the way, if you're not familiar, get familiar because this stuff is super fun. Uh, tell me, how did you connect? I know he was watching your stuff, but how did he connect with you? That was a super fun video. Yeah, he, he just a few months back, he, I guess, was in, you know, when the pandemic started, he's in quarantine, he got really into mountain biking. He started watching, uh, you know, the YouTube just recommends videos and he found my channel. And he just kind of like went through all the videos and was like, oh my God, like this, I love this. So um, he it DM'd me on Instagram and I was like, Heather, do you know who this is? And, and I showed her and she was like, oh. <laughs> 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 just, my wife knew who he was right away. And uh, yeah, we just started chatting. And then I was like, hey man, like I'm gonna go ride, you know, come along, meet me at my local loop. Drove down from LA, he yeah. had a specialized bike and we just kind of like hit it off and was showing him my way for you know we'd meet up every week and go ride together during the pandemic and uh yeah he was cool he's like let's make a video <laughs> he, it's all that's incredible like him because uh, i watched his uh his new guy richie film when we were hanging out and he's talking to me about the behind the scenes and meeting mcconaughey and things like that and you're like oh is that real <laughs> so yeah explain cool. that text to me was that you were saying <laughs> getting him in the getting him on the camera that's funny yeah like yeah he, he's just totally down and it's funny he used to be a journalist um doing travel shows overseas before he was even acting so when we went no out kidding. to video yeah he was like showing me he's like put the camera here the sun's better and like and then he huh. turned the camera on him and he just goes like he like right here he's just like all right i'm gonna be talking for a while now he's just like a pro you know he's good <laughs> that's at what he does. <laughs> yeah he was and, and he was pretty good on the bike too his backflip was pretty rad you're gonna have to check amazing, out the video yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to see that it was like his fifth time seven time riding something like that yeah that was really cool um so obviously riding conditions we are in southern california uh has been a little bit wild we have a lot of fires going on yeah uh, how has that been for you it's been a little rough you know like i'm uh you know in socal we have um uh, even if it's 80 85 when you go riding there's not a lot of shade right so the sun adds like another 10 degrees and on top of that the smoke and uh, the breathing quality it's been pretty tough like my riding right now i've either gone in the morning or like in the evening i'm shorter rides it looks like the end of the week's gonna get a little bit better but uh i also was just in um central coastal in san Luis obispo last week and it was still like 90 degrees there as i was leaving the skies turned gray it's it's smoky there the week before that i was in park city it was really nice for two days and then there was fires up there. It just kind of like, you know, in the West Coast right now, 
wherever the fires are, they're, wherever the wind takes them is just kind of like this big mass of smoke. So it's 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 not really a complaint as much as it is just we're dealing with some crazy times right now, right? Like 2020. Yeah. Yeah, it is wild. It is that why I know you had Sky Park to yourself for a while, and Sky Park, if you're unfamiliar with it, is uh, probably from what I have seen, probably the most fun mountain bike park in California. Am I off in saying that? No, I mean it's it's got a little bit of everything. Like I wouldn't say that's the craziest one, but it, I think it's the most fun. Like they, you could bring your family there. There's a Christmas twenty four year. 20 what is it uh 365 yeah. days a year santa's living yeah. there the santa's village <laughs> and then the the cool thing about it is the trails are built so well in the forest and we have a lot of desert here so it's like a little mental escape you know you go up there and you're you're flying down through the pine trees in the shade and it just feels like a whole new experience i i kind of love oh, that yeah. place so yeah it's great heck yeah that that's that's on my my bucket list for sure rob also went there of course yeah uh, and uh that was that was a fun video uh and then you had i think one of my one of my favorite videos of yours uh in terms especially of wanting to get into this sport is your most memorable trails that you've hit mm -hmm. up uh of course squamish is on that list you have whistler yeah. obviously sky park which we've already mentioned what would you say of those five was your favorite I have to go with the number one. It was uh, Whistler Bike Park. Whistler, is the, for those of you that don't mountain bike, is the pinnacle of mountain bike parks. It's, I'd say the best hands down in the world. They have everything. And they have a trail that you can take. Um, I think it's two gondolas and then a sky chair all the way up to the top. And it's called Top of the World once you get up there. There's a suspension bridge. And that is more about the experience plus the ride down for me. You are just above the clouds. You can oh. see it right now. You're you're in the alpines. You're you're so high that there's like Beautiful. nothing really growing. And so as you trans transfer down, you go through microclimates, and then you hit the tree line, and then you hit you know down to the bottom oh. where the grass is, and then it just feels like you're in like a video game where you're just like going through levels, you know, and you've got views the whole time. <laughs> and, and, and it's a technical ride, you know, it's like a, it's a black trail. So you're you're in some stuff. So it's not just like, you know, take little Timmy down. You got to make sure Timmy's going with dad on this one. So, yeah, <laughs> it would definitely Timmy. be. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and it's like you get down halfway and that's like a 30 minute ride. And then you have like another 30 minutes still down from there because you started so high. So I can't wait to get back there. That place mm -hmm. is amazing. It looks beautiful. Yeah. I never even thought about that concept of microclimates. That's mm -hmm. it absolutely makes sense. But yeah, I, I would say that Whistler connects the most for me as a as a as a, a snow mountain mm -hmm. that I'd want to hit up. I, I would I want to say snowboard, but obviously there are skiers in the world too for some reason. Uh, <laughs> but you said in your video you were actually hitting up a spot that is not even open during the winter. Is that right? Yeah, the places um, that top of the world drops you off at, it's not a ski zone. So they have a trail that drops you off in a part of the mountain that just takes you in a different place. So it's really cool being up there. And it's like one of those places where I like I try to be as present as possible, even though you're like so excited. Just because oh, yeah. like, I don't know, if, I don't know if I get back there again. You know, I went to Whistler <laughs> I'm kinda on, a, on a whim and lucky trip. So it was like, I can't believe I'm here. I feel like a little kid. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Like, I think that's a good rule of thumb for life in general just to, with everything that happens in life you just forget to just try to appreciate where you're at and what you're doing even if it's totally a little bit yeah. tough still appreciate where you're at that's awesome okay so as much as i love talking about this and could go on and on about everything you offer by the way not only does he have youtube which we've been showcasing but also instagram check him out this man deserves your attention especially if you're in the mountain biking scene, but let's get into the meat of it and where Sport RX uh, can really help you out. Uh, and that's with eyewear. We yeah. know eyewear, we know prescription eyewear, as we can see right now, you're wearing glasses, you need prescription to see. We've actually been teamed up with you for a while now, so we have kitted you out, as we've yep. mentioned with other people, with proper sports eyewear. And uh, maybe you can take a moment to talk about what's been working for you here. Hey, there you go. Check it out. Boom. Um, <laughs> These but pair I, I wear to... uh, everywhere. Yeah, 100%. Those are, those are fantastic. I love me some Centrix. 
Um, but yeah, I want to talk about what we can do for you that you still need help with. Uh, and I think that that's going to be because you'll do you do all your own editing, of yep. course, which is uh, very impressive. But we want to make sure that you're protecting your eyes properly. Uh, and that means blue light protection. And so let's talk about some glasses before we jump into that, because uh, I have an idea in mind that I think is going to be perfect for you from helping you in the past. Uh, what is, you said your favorite pair was that Centrix. What is it that you're liking about those? Oh, I love that these, um, so forgive me because I don't know the terminology, but you, the way you created the lenses, um, I'm on the trail and things seem to stand out. Like when I'm going down the trail, and this is coming from someone that wasn't wearing prescription glasses while I was riding the trail. I was basically riding blind, you know, and we mountain bike we have a tour. So uh, this, <laughs> right, as soon as I put them on and it, it just, I don't know how to explain it, but everything got sharp. Like not only could I see it, but the objects got sharper. So when I'm going down and I'm seeing these rock arms and things, they almost like stuck out. And it was like seeing the trail, not for the first time again, but Kind of, because, you know, before I was just like, yeah. if I go fast through there, I'm going to make it. And now I'm like, no, there's like a line right there. I can figure this out, you know? So yeah. I just, I just really love that aspect about it. You know, these are, these are the ones that if it's a full on sunny day, and then I have these uh, Oakley's here too, which are, are the transitions, oh, yeah. which these are great in, uh, you know, lower, even lower light or foggy days, things like that. These will just, I feel like these are the ones that know what I want, you know, like, if I'm in this type of awesome. uh, shade or this lighting, it does the, it does its thing. Whatever you the, you know, you, whatever you put in here, it knows what it's doing. Basically, I don't know the terminology, but yeah, that's both fine. Of those I know. Great. I know exactly what you mean. And yeah, those Oakleys, you have a little more versatility. I know in Southern California, we don't have that much variation in weather. And mm -hmm. so it sounds like those 100% uh, centrics are working best for you. And I love mm -hmm. what you're doing. I love that you don't have, because essentially you don't have these technical terms. You don't have the the, the frame of reference for, uh, you know, what, what I know has been just deep seated in me as an optician for years. Uh, but to every time I help somebody, I say, th these are the benefits of these glasses. And you're essentially saying, I don't know what it is to explain it, how to explain it, but you're explaining everything that I'm trying to explain, oh, cool. which is yeah. contrast enhancement. You're talking about, uh, you know, depth perception cues are enhanced. You're able to spot and track lines better than you otherwise would be able to because of that heightened perception of color. And so that is awesome that that's working out for you. So let's yeah, talk about you. how, oh yeah, no, thank you. So let's talk about how we can help you with your more everyday pair. Uh, I have a pair in mind and I actually just happen to be wearing a pair of Persoles right now. I have a pair of Persoles I have in mind and it is the Persole PO3240. I know your face Hello. shape. I know the style that you tend to like on your face. And I think these are going to be fantastic both in fit and style. Persole is classic and they're going to be able to wear them forever despite the fact mm -hmm. that it is kind of more of a uh, kind of a modern-esque look. I think it also yeah. has a lot of classic elements. That keyhole bridge especially is going to be fantastic in terms of comfort on your nose. Everything about these frames, I think it's going to be great. And I think you need that blue light protection. So we're going to get you a simple clear lens, obviously digital to give you the best optical clarity possible a really good anti-reflective coating that has that blue light blocking not going to be a pair that you want to wear in sunny conditions because you're already set right. up for that but right. awesome on the computer awesome for the tv awesome at night awesome at the restaurants when we can go back to them and yep. uh yeah i think this is the way to go and i think you're gonna love them I think so too. I love that. That's kind of like a, a modern spin on something where I, I usually have, I've had these forever and they're scratched up. So this is sounding amazing. And uh, ah. I like that. That's a kind of a modern uh, new take on the style of what I'm already into. So this is perfect. Also the, for the blue lighting, like what is, is that help with, is that the one that helps with like headaches or things like that? Or is it, yes. what's the blue so lighting when do? you're, when you do a lot of work on the computer, when you're looking at a lot of digital devices, you're getting a lot more blue light. There's a ton of blue light, obviously, that comes from the sun, but you have sunglasses to handle that, generally speaking. When you're indoors, your your eyes are not as 
naturally protected against all of this blue light transmission. It is something that's been more recently discovered to be detrimental to your eye health. And it's not so much short term like UV rays are. It is more long term. We're talking age related macular degeneration uh, is being affected immensely by this and how much you're on the computer. I think it'll help. There's also those elements that are going to help you daily, which would be eye strain, which would be uh, you know, your REM cycle, this blue light affects your REM cycle, your ability to get to sleep. That's why doctors tell you, you know, put away all your devices an hour or more before you go to bed. No one does that. Well, yeah. this should help. And so I think that this would be ideal for you. And I can't wait to hear what your experience is like with them. Cool. Because I can say personally, yeah. I'm on the computer a ton. And uh, it definitely helps. At the end of the day, you feel less eye strain. Perfect. Love it. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me. If you have been waiting for that promo, here it is. It is Outsider MTB20. That is going to save you 20% on all orders through SportRx, including prescription orders. can be a huge savings for sure if you're in the market for mountain biking glasses, everyday eyeglasses, computer glasses, it'll save you money and it will also help to support outsider mountain biker, this man. Uh, we really appreciate you taking the time with us. Uh, thank you so much for everything you do, Tony. Uh, thank and you. Uh, if, yeah, definitely hit that promo code, support him. Oh, also support this man with his Patreon, support this man with his merch. He has some fun merch that I would definitely yeah, <laughs> wear. Yeah, absolutely. And he's on the social media platforms. Like I said, YouTube, Instagram, check him out there, like, and subscribe. He has good content. And then once you see how good that content is, support this man, Patreon. I don't know Patreon too well. You get uh, some specialized content, right? Through Patreon. Yeah, we do group. If you're, in, if you're in the West Coast, we just did our first group ride. You get early release <gasps> videos. We do product giveaways, all kinds of stuff. And we have a really awesome community over there. We're already 150 people. And everything that I take in there just supports the channel and keeps me traveling, keeps me on the road making videos. So get more of this good, good stuff. content. Yeah, that's fantastic. Okay. So ideally we will be able to follow up with you in a few weeks and see how those are working for you. Maybe we can chat a little bit more about, yeah. you know, the other pairs, if they're, uh, you know, performing for you even better. Uh, thank you again for joining us. You guys watching, please ring that bell, subscribe. Like I said, we go live every Tuesday at noon. And if you were to share this video and share you sharing the video with us, you'll get some cool swag, like cool hats. We have shirts. You just let us know. You send us your address and we'll send you free swag. We would love to see you as a part of the family. Good day. Thank you again, Tony. It's been awesome. Check out Outsider Mountain Biker on all of those platforms and have a great Likewise. day. Likewise. See you soon. <laughs>